Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we are going to talk about how to defeat Guardian, the uncollected difficulty. We are going to review the skills and special attacks and then discuss what types of champions are most useful when attacking against Guardian. And I'm going to try to keep this as clear and concise as possible so that you can get all the information you need as quick and easy as possible. The first thing to note is that if you decrease Guardian's ability accuracy, for example, using the Pacify Mastery, when you stun them, it actually applies a shock debuff to you for that duration. And that can be very damaging to your overall health, especially if you don't have an easy way to heal. So if you find this is a big problem for you, you might want to get rid of that mastery temporarily. The other thing to consider is some champions decrease ability accuracy kind of like Archangel with the neurotoxins. So once you get the neurotoxins going, you'll be taking a lot of damage. Next, you'll notice that Guardian generates armor up buffs. While he has an armor up buff active, all of those yellow charges on the side there, currently there's six. Each one adds a 15% chance for him to auto block a special attack. So you want to avoid using your special attacks while he has an armor up buff active. Now let's review the special attacks and then get into the champion choices. Special one has three components. The first two components have fairly long range. We're going to look at it in slow motion. It's a beam attack, then a dash attack, and then a more close range explosion, which you can avoid by being far enough away. The first dash has to be right after he puts his arms back in that position. The second dash, as soon as he starts flying downwards and across, and then the last one when he goes into that ball formation and then the explosion. And if you just dash back a couple times initially, then you won't have to worry about being hit. Really quickly, I'm going to show you the heavy attack, which is two quick punches. It's like one attack. And so you want to know that you can punish back after that. Now, to get this second special dodge down takes a little bit more practice it is harder to fully evade than the special ones so it's better if you can just bait out all special ones but it's always good to have an understanding of how to dodge the other special in case you're faced with that situation the first component of the special two attack is a slower moving ranged attack so it depends how close you are the second component you can block to make it easier or dodge all or most of it and the third component does more damage and you want to try to evade as soon as you see the beam appear one more time we'll look at the special one and then we'll look at special two where i start from a little bit of a distance back so you can see you need to delay your evade a little longer if you start from further back and then you can block the second portion if you feel more comfortable doing that and as far as champion choices, the best ones are the ones that can cause armor break or that can nullify the armor up buff. Now, Ghost Rider to begin with is not a very strong damage output champion, but he does have an ability to nullify. So he does have some use if you're good with Ghost Rider. Other good choices would include Scarlet Witch because her auto attacks can nullify as well as her special attacks or any champion you have that you know you can reliably nullify a buff with. But for me, what I personally found the most beneficial was using champion with armor break. And all I really needed was Medusa. There are a lot of champions who are good with armor break, but my roster is limited because of what where it was left off a couple years ago but medusa worked very well for me even as a four star i was able to solo guardian without too much difficulty medusa's basic attacks cause armor break so i basically never had to worry about the armor up buff or having my special attacks auto blocked so that was much more convenient to not worry about also medusa's furies allowed her to ramp up her damage a little bit so that made the fight go a little bit quicker than some other champions without that ability so that's it for this video i hope it was helpful let me know in the comments below what was helpful or maybe what was not as helpful let me know what champions you used and I hope you enjoy the rest of this fight and I'll see you in the next video.